Hi friends, it's Sarah Baldwin here with another Sunday with Sarah for you. Today I have a craft tutorial. Now I often get asked by parents for ideas for gifts, handmade gifts that children can make to give. And one of my favorite uh, suggestions is a bar of felted soap. Now if you're not familiar with felted soap, it's a bar of soap that has uh, been covered with wool felt, uh, usually in pretty colors, and it becomes uh, like a bar of soap and a washcloth in one. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, the wool is a little bit exfoliating. Uh, they're really pretty uh, in a bathroom, depending what kind of soap you use, they can smell really good. And they're super easy and fun to make. I'm gonna show you today just how easy it is. Now, uh, we sell a kit at uh, Bella Luna Toys, a felted soap bar kit. Makes it very easy because it's got everything you need in it and instructions. Sometimes this can be helpful to make the first one. And then all you need uh, going forward is a bar of soap. I like ivory soap for this purpose, but you can use really any bar of soap in any shape. Well, I would say round or rectangular um, works well and some uh, wool, wool, uh, wool fleece, batting or roving. Um, and uh, let's get started. So let's open our kit. Let's see what we have inside. We've got your uh, dyed wool fleece in rainbow colors. Now this is more than enough wool for one bar of soap. This this will give you enough wool to make several bars of soap, but it comes with one bar of soap um, and your instructions. So a few tips of advice. The first time you, you make a felted soap, start simply. Um, just start with one or two colors. Um, as you get the hang of it, you can get fancier later on with, with stripes or, or patterns. Um, I found it helps to just wet the bar of soap first. And this is most important. Find some long pieces of fleece and you're going to, to uh, tease them out very thin, so when you put the, the felt, the, the I'm sorry, the wool fleece on your soap, you want it to be thin and tight, close to the soap. Yeah, having, having the bar of soap wet first helps the, um, the fleece stick to the bar. And then I try to, if I do one, uh, I, one layer lengthwise, I try to do the other crosswise, both to cover, uh, cover the whole bar, and uh, also it helps the felting process to have the uh, interlocking fibers. Take your time with this. It uh, felting uh, really requires a lot of patience. Uh, it takes a while. It's going to take not a lot, half an hour, but um, um, about fifteen to twenty minutes to to fully felt. I try to get long pieces that wrap around the, the soap as much as possible. And just kind of tease out the wool so it's it's um, covering all the um, 
all the parts of the, the bar of soap. Okay, we're ready to begin. I'm gonna start by uh, just dripping. I've got hot water in this bowl. That's the only other thing you need besides the, the wool and the, uh, the bar of soap. Just gonna drip water on until the wool is all wet. We're gonna start very gently. Now, the directions on the kit said that this uh, kit is good for ages seven and up. And I believe that's true. A child um, seven or older can probably uh, do this whole process by themselves. But I have, um, I have done this activity with children as young as three and four, um, helping them make gifts. But uh, I, I start this process for them. Where when you start, you have to work very carefully and gently. And as you continue, the wool starts to felt, it becomes um, thicker and, and, and tougher, and then you can really start rubbing more vigorously. And that's the point when I, I would give it to a younger child. And it's a really great sensory activity for them to, to, uh, to rub. All right, and now the wool is completely wet. Now when I start, I'm gonna pat really, really gently, adding a little more water when I need to, and I'm gonna pat evenly on each side to keep the rectangle shape. So when I put my wool on, I really put the thinnest layer that I could, tease out that wool. So you don't want, you want to avoid clumps. If you put too much on, and if you try rubbing too quickly, you're going to get uh, clumps that won't want to blend in. So again, this is um, a fun activity, but and it's a great exercise in patience. So I'm gonna rub like so, just, uh, I'll probably just take a couple of minutes. Just patting gently on all sides until I'm ready to rub more vigorously. So I'm gonna do that for a couple minutes and I'll be back with you and show you the next step. So here I am, I've been rubbing this uh, gently for a few minutes now, five or 10 minutes. And uh, this is the intermediate stage. It's not really ready to rub vigorously yet but the, the uh, felt is firming up. And this might be the point when you could give it to a younger child, say a four or five year old. And um, instead of patting it like I did in the beginning, I can give it a little circular motion. This helps all those fibers interlock, which is what makes felt. And um, don't forget to keep, keep it wet, keep dripping water on it as you work. But it's coming along. I'm gonna keep rubbing for a few minutes and I'll be back with you to show you the final stage. Okay, so I, I have been um, rubbing again for a few more minutes and this is the point, it's getting really tight around the bar of soap. And this is the point where you can really rub vigorously and this is what's great for children, such a great sensory experience, the soap and the wool and the warm water. And the more you rub, the more it will felt. The, the, the wool is really tight around the bar of soap now. And the nice thing is once you the soap is finished and you start using it uh, as, as soap, uh, it's gonna continue to felt with use. So I'm just gonna bring it over to my sink to rinse off some of the, uh, the soap bubbles and you can see the finished product. Now I've been, um, 
rubbing in warm water, it also helps the felting process when you shock the wool and you change temperature suddenly. So I, I am using cold water now to rinse it as a final step. You can dry it with a cloth or paper towels. And then I would just leave it in a drying rack overnight to dry. But there's your finished product. It's beautiful and it's useful, uh, makes a lovely gift. Uh, you could just tie a ribbon around it to give it without even gift wrapping it. So I hope uh, that gives you an idea. It, it does require patience, it does require some time, but it is super simple and really fun to do. So uh, happy soap making. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more Sunday with Sarah videos, be sure to subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah YouTube channel and click the little notification bell to be notified every time we publish a new video. As always, I really appreciate hearing from you. Leave a comment below the video or you can email me at sundaywithsarah at bellalunatoys.com and I love hearing your questions and answering them and maybe I'll answer yours in a future video. See you next Sunday.